Welcome to our Murcott residence, aptly named after the renowned Australian architect Glenn Murcott. Here we've completed a kitchen renovation along with powder room and master suite. Let's go check it out. Entering the home, the first room is our guest powder room. We now lead into the heart of the home. As you'll see from the ceiling and the windows, there is the quintessential curves that are so apparent in Glenn Murcott's design. It was really important for us to then accentuate those curves and bring them into the interior, which you'll see immediately on the curved island in the kitchen. Within the kitchen, we've integrated all of the appliances so that it provides a really sleek, unassuming look to the design, which is really important to the architecture of the home. The oak timber is used throughout all of the cabinetry and the timber flooring, which runs throughout all of the areas within this house. Pointing out some of the integrated features, we have our fridge and freezer. Everything is hidden behind the cabinet doors and out of sight. At the cooktop area, you can see that the control dials are built in within the cabinetry. Our range hood is also built within the cooktop itself, which means uninterrupted views through our splashback window to the harbour. Rather than having the ovens on display, we've hidden them behind this pocket sliding door so that when they're in use, they're on display, but when not in use, you can hide them away. As you can see, there's no small appliances on the bench top. That's because they're all hidden in the butler's pantry. Let's go have a look. A butler's pantry is a separate room to the kitchen. This is generally where all of the prep and the mess gets hidden away. It's great if you're big on entertaining, which means all of the prep can happen here, while the front of the house kitchen stays beautifully pristine and looking fantastic for your guests. The joint has done a beautiful job combining this Korean bench top with the vertical slats of the timber. It really accentuates the curves on either end of the island. This then leads us to the beautiful iconic curve on this fireplace which sits central between the kitchen, dining and the lounge room of the home. The finishes from the kitchen now run through into the living space and here we also have an integrated TV so it doesn't interrupt the views when not in use. In the master bedroom of the home, we're designing custom robes to suit the requirements of our homeowners. These run down the length of the room and then continue into the ensuite, which is tucked behind this wall here. As we walk into the ensuite, you can see that the robes continue behind me. Here we've got more drawer storage for their smalls, jewellery and perfume bottles. The vanity then continues under this really thick Korean bench top and here is all their toiletry storage. The basin sits under this curved custom design mirror which follows the curve of the ceiling and the window above. The toilet is concealed and then we enter into the wall-to-wall -wall oversized shower. The materials in this room begin with the floor. It's a timber from the brand called Marfi, which is imported from Italy. It's perfect for wet area use. Along with the timber, we've paired it with the soft grey and white terrazzo stone on the wall. And on the remaining walls, we have a flat white subway tile in a vertical stack pattern. The tabware and accessories, including these heated towel bars, are all made from brushed nickel. We hope you've enjoyed the tour.